All right, this is try number two because I just recorded this whole video and it turns out I didn't record it at all. This is my dorm studio tour. I live in a small campus apartment and I built a studio. So I wanted to show it to people who may be doing something similar soon, whether you're going off to college or moving into your own place and it's kind of small or you're on a budget and you're trying to work out how to build a little studio to get things moving. Everything I bought was within the like less than 100 range with a few items going over 100 but everything was accumulated over time. Like I said last time, I would recommend putting your money where it belongs first. So if you're really into music, you should put your money into audio equipment first. And if you're more into like the visual stuff, obviously you're gonna buy a camera first. So just kind of making a list of all the things you would want for your own studio and prioritizing it based off of what you think would do good for you to have first and that's how i did it i started off with my mic and interface the mic i bought used got it for like 50 dollars. it's usually 100 the focus right is usually around 100 as well focus right solo i got it for 70 dollars. buying it open box on ebay i believe both of these were ebay um and i use uh i use reaper and ableton live light as my main daws to run through and I got Ableton Live Lite with my Novation Launch Key Mini, and Reaper, uh, an individual license, is only $60, so it's a great way to start, especially if you're mostly into recording stuff. I use Reaper mostly for recording purposes and Ableton for like that beats and kind of stuff. And the headphones I use, I use these ATH M50Xs by Audio-Technica. I really love Audio-Technica stuff, and it uh, works great for me, especially for mixing music. The tone is super even and I think it works great for what it does. I have this Audio-Technica uh, AT2020 mic and the Shermore SM57 mic. That's, that's mostly it for this kind of equipment that I own. I run everything through my MacBook Pro that I got mostly for college purposes, but now I use it mostly for music purposes. For photo editing, I have a Huon tablet that I keep on hand and um, I edit my videos through the free stuff I got on my laptop, iMovie. That's all I really have for editing video, but for editing photos, I do use Adobe's Photoshop. I know I want to make this quick, so my instruments are my Squire Fender P Bass, my Epiphone Les Paul Standard, my Mitchell Acoustic, it is concert sized, and my Martin & Co LX1E. It all does the job, honestly. I got really lucky though with this Nikon camera D3200 and uh, I bought it off of a family member for really cheap, so that was really lucky score. Um, but I would say my piece of advice, if you are going off to college, you should find out what your campus's resources are because I'm filming this on a campus camera and I sometimes check out their mics and such when I'm looking for specific project things. But then again, if you're not doing that kind of thing, it is doable to build a home studio. It just might take some time. It took me really like five years to get all this kind of stuff. What I did was I made a spreadsheet, all the things I wanted for my studio, put all the prices that I found online and started budgeting slowly and slowly. It can be hard, but it's not impossible. And I do have a small space, but I've, I've made the best of it so far. I just wanted to show my home studio because I'm sure there's plenty of people trying to do stuff like this. So uh, comment below if you have any questions and thank you for watching.